Enchanted Forest Water Safari featuring the new Curse of the Silverback presents Adirondack Journal. Good morning, I'm Gary Van Riper. Welcome to Adirondack Journal. You know, there's a lot of ways to spend a few days in the Adirondacks. And now thanks to the Woods Inn, you can actually come up to the Adirondacks and spend a few nights the way they did in the 1800s. What's been set up here are traditional Adirondack guide tents that were used originally by the guides themselves or by fishermen, hunters, or campers. This morning, I'd like you to meet Joetta from the Woods Inn. It's located right here on the beautiful shores of Fourth Lake and Inlet, and she's gonna tell us more about this great Adirondack tradition. Well, they were really popular with guides, uh, taking uh, mostly men on hunting and um, uh, fishing trips, as well as the whole logger society. You know, all of the loggers used them. They would set up camp and live in them for months at a time where they were logging an area, and that would have been all through the 1800s. And by the end of the 1800s, going into the turn of the century, they were definitely used for vacationers as well. People who were um, going to stay for a couple of weeks would bring trunks up and really have a whole outfit of tinware that they would use for cooking and, and as a kitchen, an outdoor kitchen. And so families utilized them as vacation times as well. Well, we did the first one down by the lake, the first tent, about three years ago, just to see if it was an insane idea or if everybody else thought it was a great idea too. And it worked so well that we did the next two the, the next year. Well, we hope they feel um, what we feel about the Adirondack nature and being in the outdoors and getting the best part of that, but still having the best part of the luxury of heat and plumbing also. So you can come and rough it here in the Adirondacks exactly like they did in the 1800s, with the exception, of course, that you'll have electricity, running water, heat, and an incredible outhouse. And add another page to your own Adirondack Journal. So